Now that you have your trial database or your real database, you will want to create organizations. Let me show you the way to do that. You can go to organizations and select add new organization. That's not what I recommend and here's why. You have organizations already set up that are in certain programs and divisions, have schedules, other attributes. You want to find one that is like the new organization that you need. In my case, I want a new life group and I want it to be in adult one and I want it to be at 8 a.m. So I'm going to search for one of those organizations. I've got several here. I'm just going to select an organization so that I'm viewing the actual organization. I'm not on the search page. I'm actually on the organization page. Now I'm going to select from organizations, add new organization. And the name of this one is going to be Women of Memphis. I'll give it a location. It will not replicate the location from the one that you're uh, viewing, but it will replicate other attributes. And so in this case, it's going to be Fellowship Hall 1, main campus, the leader type is teacher. It is a main fellowship class, and you want to read about what a main fellowship class is. That's that one class that you expect all your members to be involved in, whether it's Sunday school, community group, life group, or whatever. They wouldn't be in more than one. And I want to copy the settings from the current organization. It's going to automatically copy some of them, but if you want to copy all, then you can select that, click Submit. And now notice that I have an organization type. That came from the organization I was viewing when I created it. It replicated the campus and of course the leader type, whether it was main fellowship that was already checked. Of course it's active and it picked the schedule. It's in the same program and division. So if I go over here to settings, uh, you've got the location here. The entry point is replicated and that is life group and any other settings that it might have. When I move to attendance, it's got that schedule there and the first meeting date, the role sheet, guest weeks. You can edit any of these you want, but the best way to create the organization is just as I said, if you're creating multiple organizations that are at the same time in the same program and division, once you create one, you can stay on that new one and go to add new organization and keep creating them. So you want to find an organization that already exists that has the same attributes that you uh, want to replicate. If you needed to change it, you just click edit and maybe it's not a connect class, it's a serve in class. You can change it, but it's always easier to find something that has what you want and then create the new organization.